Hey YouTube, alright, this video is going to be a, an unboxing of the Panasonic HC-V550 camcorder. So, I, I already did one of these things. It's kind of a weird story. I did a, uh, I'm going to open the box with the exacto knife. Try not to cut myself while I do it. I um, already did an unboxing video of this camera. And then I returned it because I was not happy with the camera. And all right, why can't I get this sucker open? Because I don't know what I'm doing, maybe? Maybe. Okay, so uh, I wasn't happy with the camera. Not happy at all. And I took it back. The next day, I took it back after I did some really nice videos that I posted on YouTube. So, um,. I'm going to be doing another unboxing video and explain my feelings on this camera. All right, let's take out the plastic wrap. Kind of looks a little different than what I had before, but maybe not. Okay, here we have, can you see this in the video? Yeah, we have a nice little uh, case, beautiful Panasonic case that I will probably never use. Well, I might use it. 30, uh, what is this? I think it's a 32 gigabyte memory card. Does it even say that? doesn't say it. On the last one I got it said 32 megabytes, so maybe this is a, uh, a third party one. Who knows? Alright, <clears throat> what else do we have? We'll get rid of the box, and we've got the camera. Well, let me explain a little bit about the camera. I bought this camera a couple weeks ago, and I was not happy with the ability, I, was, I love the, uh, the zoom. The zoom capabilities are incredible. 90x is amazing. 3000x is a lot more than I needed. <clears throat> I took the camera to the beach and I was not happy with... Why don't I have any uh, power cords? Maybe it's all in here. Let's see. I wasn't happy with the... Uh, with the ability, with the not, with not having the ability to uh, take great video without using a tripod. 90x is incredible, but without a tripod, good luck. And okay, there's the camera. There are the instruction manuals. There is the software. There's a DVD uh, burning program for your HD video, and that's the HD writer. And I think the drivers are on the other disc. Uh, let's see what else is in the box. Hopefully the power cords, because they were in the other system. We have a uh, USB to uh, USB, which plugs into your computer and then plugs into the camera so you can transfer your video files. We have a uh, USB to HDMI, so you can trans so you can play videos on your television set. We have a, what is this one, USB to power cord, so you can plug the power cord into your camera and the USB into your PC and you can get it charged that way. We also have a, an AC adapter, so you can plug the AC adapter into the wall. Plug the AC adapter into the wall and then plug your, what do we have here? It's a USB jack on the AC adapter. You plug your AC adapter into the wall, USB jet plug into there, and then you can plug it into your camera to power up. And then we have a battery. This is definitely packed differently than the one I bought before, so maybe the one I bought before was a return. I don't know. Okay, so, um, so I, I, let me explain a little bit. I bought this camera and I went down to the beach. I tried to take video of the, uh, I zoomed in 90X. I tried to take video of the, uh, the boats. And I got great video, but I realized this is ridiculous. There's, there's so much, it's, it's overkill. I didn't need 90X. And 3000X without a tripod was impossible. But who cares about the, the zoom? My main problem was I, want, I, I saw some airplanes flying overhead. I pointed the camera towards the airplanes 
there was so much sun glare that I could not see. There was so much glare off of this that I couldn't see what I was taping, what I, what I was filming. I couldn't see it at all. And I thought, well, this is kind of useless. So I returned the camera. And then I went on the internet and I did a lot of research and I found you're not going to get everything you want. The zoom is awesome and I love it. And I missed it. I couldn't believe how much I missed having this zoom feature. And I love this camera. It's tiny. It's just a tiny little thing. And it took incredible video, really nice video. The camera that I'm filming this on now films in MOV format, and this films in MP4. Uh, not that it really makes any difference because it takes forever to transfer the files and then to upload them on YouTube in HD anyway. So that's not the big issue. Um, I just thought I'm not going to find a camera with an optical zoom for less than five, six, seven hundred dollars. And all of this, all of this that I'm showing right now, cost me two ninety nine on sale at Costco. Luckily, I got the stores didn't have it, but I was able to uh, buy it online and um, purchase what I wanted to before the uh, before they ran out because the sale's almost over. Okay, so here's the thirty two gigabyte. It's the memory card. And this camera is really neat. I mean, they've done an incredible job. SD card over there. Open up the little, well, let's see, is that showing? Open up the little latch. It will only go in in one way. Doesn't go in that way. Doesn't go in that way, so it obviously goes in this way. All right, slides in. How much easier could this be? The door, a little flap on the door. It's so easy, you don't have to have these little rubber things that push into a, an opening and you pull them out and they could break off. This could break off, but if you're careful, this is a really nice, a nice idea. I like this. Um, on the top over here, we've got zoom. You can see W and T for wide or telephoto. So you go wide or telephoto. And it's also your volume control, plus and minus decrease, increase for your uh, for your video for zooming in. And then there's the button over here. It's a shutter button, so you can, while you're shooting video, you can press this button and grab a, uh, a still. Now, the camera has different modes. You can go into still mode where you can take still photographs. You can see over here it says 10 megapixels. So you go into still mode, you can take 10 megapixel photos. You can go into video mode where you can strictly shoot video if that's what you want to do. Or if while you're shooting video you want to take a photo still, you can press this button. Now, since the camera is a video camera, if you've got it in video mode, it is, its main goal is to be shooting video, so your quality of still might not be that great. It might not be great. I don't even know if it's going to come out to 10 megapixel. Whereas if you've got the camera set up, the camcorder set up only to take stills, then you're going to get good 10 megapixel stills. But if you set it for video and you shoot a still during a video, the priority is going to be on the video and not the still. Okay, so we've got the memory card plugged in there. And what else do we have? We've got the battery. Now, since I've already owned this camera for a day, I know how to set this thing up now where my first video I didn't. This is a really cool, these, these batteries cost a fortune. If you want to buy a battery like this, I think it's 70 bucks, which is ridiculous. It's almost uh, half the price of the camera, or a third of the price. But if you want to buy an extended battery, it's like $140 crazy. The battery, the way they set this up is genius. It's a really nice idea. Very simple to use. You can see the notches up here, the notches over there. You just take this sucker, I forgot, it's only been a week since I did it. There's a little slide button over here, a little slide lever. You slide that lever down where I've got my thumb, take the battery, slide it in. Done. How easy is that? How easy is that? Seriously. Some of these batteries are a pain in the ass to put in and take out. This is a, a it's kind of a little tight. It's a really nice idea. Okay, so we've got the battery in here. We've got the SD card in here. Normally this thing ships with a completely dead battery. But I'm going to press the button. Let me go over some of the things on this camera first. Just uh, so you know what I, I learned when I first bought it. There's an AV jack over there. 
You can use that for your audio. You can, uh, I believe you can plug a microphone in there. External mic to get some recording. You got this uh, button over here for uh, stability, for your stabilizer. So if your camera is being held at an angle, if you're holding the camera at an angle, it should give you, it should straighten the picture out. So even though your camera might be like this, it will film like it's being held perfectly straight. Okay, other features. What do we have over here? We've got uh, Wi-Fi if you want to set this thing up to... If you've got a, uh, a hotspot, you could set this to a, a Wi-Fi thing and video live straight to Ustream. You can set it up where this camera will be recording and sending out a signal and you should be able to see it on your iPhone if you have the iPhone or Android app installed. They don't have one for BlackBerry which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Um, it also kind of, You can also spend like $150 and buy a, a pan unit so that if you plug this thing in there, if it saw a criminal coming into your house or somebody walking in the property or your dog, it would literally follow the movement. The camera would follow the movement automatically. And they get that technology from their security cameras. So, But that's additional money, not something it's going to come with. That's the Wi-Fi button. There's the battery button that I showed you over there. There's your HDMI jack so that you can plug in the cable that I showed you originally at the beginning. Plug in your HDMI to here and to your TV set and you can watch HDMI video off of that. And then we have the USB, which is your power, your power cord and your, uh, your um, video transfer. So if you plug in your USB cable and plug it into your USB on your computer. You will transfer your videos to the computer and if you keep it plugged in you will also recharge the camera. And finally there is the power button. I don't know if it's going to come on but I'm going to turn it on right now. The really nice thing that this comes with that a lot of them don't is it's got a uh, the protective cover for your lens closes automatically when the power goes off and you can set this up different ways so that it closes or it doesn't close and then I thought there was a little lever over here well, there is I just don't know where it is right now to, uh, to manually close this thing so that's the camera let's plug it in I mean let's power it on that's the on off button see if it even comes on well there it is beautiful there's the setup it wants to set the camera up there's the power button, which also becomes the recording button. This is your recording start-stop button. And I'll turn the thing up. Now you can see the lens cover is open. So that is the unboxing of this camera. I don't want to set up the what. You know, a lot of people complain about the, uh, the sensitivity or how good the touch screen is. You're going to see me press it right now. I'm going to press no. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. I'll admit that. Uh, this one's doing really good. You can run this camera off of the buttons or you can run it off of the touch screen. There's the telephoto. You can see the little bar over there which shows where it's at. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to manually press this right now. You should be able to see see the blue. Is that showing up on the camera? Hopefully that shows up. You should see the There we go. Now you can see what it's capable of doing. Let's, uh, let's get this sheet of paper over here. It came with the Costco camera. And it's on the wide right now. I'm about six inches away, a foot away. I'm going to zoom in. And you can see it says 2x, 3x, 5x. It can't even handle it now. I've got to move the camera up further away. It's just got a 90x just so you can see what it's capable of doing. So there's 90x. Um, go on my channel, you can see my videos on some of the, uh, the stuff that I uh, filmed the first day that I had it. 
You got your arrows left and right, which will take you to different screens. I think if you swipe to the left, get to the menu. Is this showing up on the video camera? Yeah. Setup. Clock dis the display. You can set it so that the display will shut off after five seconds, like the uh, some of the uh, features that are on the that are set up for the for the camera, the settings, the uh, f-stop. There's the clock set. You can set it for international time or world set. Set your world time. You got your clock and the date. Link clock to daylight savings time, so it just becomes automatic. You don't have to change it. Um, what else do we have? Zoom, record, display. I think that shows uh, that little blue light, blue line that I was showing you. Is it zooming in or out? It will display that on the screen. OIS, stabilization, if you want that on or off, and will it display? Quick start. Eco well, economy. Economy battery. Economy battery is set up so that uh, things will power down if you're strictly on battery and that's default set to on. Economy AC is set to off. What that is is that um, as long as you've got it on AC it won't go into economy mode. It won't shut down things but you can set it up to shut down. Quick start is set up so that um, it will use about 50% of the battery power when you're in quick start but the idea of quick start is that the camera the lens cover is open and the camera is ready to film immediately the second you press the start button. LCD set. I forget what that is. Initial set. Oh, TV aspect 16 by 9 or 4, 4 uh, 3 if you want HD viewing on your, on your TV or not. Initial set. I don't know what, I think that sets it up to how the machine, how this was originally set up. Number reset is to reset your, uh, the numbering on the photographs or the video. Format media is to format the media, obviously, your memory card. Auto cursor position. That just makes it easier to type in. The cursor moves to the next spot on the screen when you were typing in your, uh, settings for Wi-Fi. Demo mode, that demo mode would be used in a store. It goes through the different uh, features of the camera and demo mode. And language, oh, OIS is the uh, stability demo that you would have in a store. And language is what language you're going to be using in the store or on the, on the uh, camera when you're operating it. Okay, now we're going to go to record setup. Zoom mode, Zoom mode, I zoom off, I zoom 90x, which gives you from 0 to 90x. That's intelligent zoom. D is digital, digital zoom 150x or digital zoom up to 3000x. You got your uh, OIS for your video recording, your record format. If you're going to record an MP4 or what is that, that H A V. I forget what it's called, that uh, new mode that they've got. Um, record mode. I don't even know what the heck that record mode is. Don't remember. Record mode. I don't even know what they have. HG or, okay, I guess it's HG or non-HG. 1080 or 7, well, let's click on it. Record mode is 720, 720 or 1080. 1086-60p, I don't know what the heck these things are, at least I'm honest, let's get back out of this mess, um, pre-record, pre-record adds some, uh, like a couple seconds to the video so that it's prepared to start, I haven't used it so I don't know, face framing, puts a little box in the, uh, in your, uh, screen over here so you can get it to zoom around the face. Hybrid uh, stabilization, fade. What else does it come with? AG, oh, level guide. Le uh, grid, grid lines and level guide. Grid, grid lines will be grids across the screen. Very annoying, but it lets you make sure that your video camera is perfectly lined up with what you're filming. And level gauge will show if the camera is perfectly level. You put, your, uh, put the two of those on and it's extremely annoying.
and you really don't need it. AGS, I don't know what AGS is, telemacro so that you can zoom in. Macro shooting, really uh, fine recording. Shooting guide, I don't know what the heck that shooting guide is. Mic setup, if you're going to connect a, uh, an external mic. And that's pretty much everything in the camera. So, uh, let's see. Let me get out of this. Uh, okay, you can see that blue line over there, 1080p. You can see it gives you the amount of zoom it's got and also a visual. Very nice camera. Um, as I said, I bought the thing, I put a few videos on, and then I put a video saying that I thought the camera was a piece of junk, and now I'm putting a video on saying I love the camera, and I had to buy it again because I think it's incredible. If you can get it for $299, $300, I think it's an awesome camera. A lot of people say the Geef default $375 for uh, $399 price is a rip-off because of the some of the features on the camera and the size of the sensor, you should be able to get a better camera for the price. But if you're spending $299, it's $100 less, and it's a damn good deal. And I'm going to be posting more videos on uh, YouTube with this camera because I love this camera. Totally love this camera. You can see over there. Look over there. You see that, uh, that angled white piece? That's the level guide. Shows you if you're holding the camera level, which I am right now, or I tilt it to the left, and it goes to the left. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, any questions, feel free to ask me, and make sure you go online and uh, look at some of the videos of the uh, moon that I took, and zooming in on the moon at 90x, and zooming in on the boats at 3000x and 90x, and uh, hopefully you appreciate this uh, review, and I think it's an awesome camera, hopefully you do too, and if you buy it, good luck and enjoy it.